investing in medical research in and of itself is necessary but not sufficient to make a big contribution to the future of Australia's economy. I, I, I totally believe in investing in more high quality, world class, basic research, but then I think we have to translate some of the fruits of that research um, uh, into patient benefit, new, new medicines, capture the intellectual property around those new ideas, and ultimately, hopefully, develop the medicines and manufacture them here and export them from Australia. And if we could do that, that would be the sort of impact on our future prosperity and our children's uh, prosperity that I, that I think uh, would make a marvellous difference. That, that money was going to drive better research. The question was, how much? And from what source? And that's that's going to be my debate. It's not a matter of how much and justification and so on. So when you put it, when you go to government for extra money, you you set hairs running, and you get lots of other people who argue pretty much the same case. And the fact of the matter is that all science is now highly interactive, and and also that the special science of Australia that's done through the Australian Research Council is good. So I couldn't agree with you more. I think. It's, what we need to do is, as that intellectual giant George W. Bush said, is grow the pie pipe. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the pie can't be just government funding. It has to be, we, we have to get tax laws straight, we have to get all sorts of things straight that actually make this a more attractive investment opportunity. I think what we're really saying is, this is about priorities. And for me, medical research is not one of our essential industries. Not only is it a priority because it's for better health, but it does have the term, and it's a far higher priority than some people in this government put to other industries. Many of the biggest medical device com companies in the world do their first in man studies in Australia. That's an industry. A lot of first in man drug trials happen in Australia. Why is that? We've got a multi-ethnic uh, community, we've got good hospitals, we've got good doctors. These are all things that are particular areas of strength. We have a, an attractive regulatory regime, which means that you can go into man at a reasonable time. China won't let you do first in man studies unless it's a Chinese drug. So we actually have an ability to do things that you can't do in China, you can't do in India. Uh, we have unique advantages and that leads to this big economic activity of, uh, it, which also exports. It's about time we elevated science and our leaders. And if you think of uh, Royal Parade, that's really our boulevard of big dreams. These are the people who won Nobel Prizes. We've got Peter here. The last time I ran into him was right at the, the doorstep of uh, you know, the institute named after him. He came in, he had his umbrella under his arm, his coffee in his hand, he was off to work. You know, I think every man with a Nobel Prize. What about a round of applause? <laughs>